Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today I've got another review for you today and I'm on the, uh, the, the brand new, the all new 2021 Speed Triple 1200 RS. And this bike, well, let's start with Triumph Speed Triple anyway. They were first born in uh, 1994, 1994 and since then, I believe there's been a hundred thousand of these through the, through, uh, through the years that produced. It's quite outstanding really. But anyway, let's talk about this one. This, this bike is a 1160cc liquid cooled, 12 valve, double, uh, double overhead cam, three cylinder, triple, inline triple. This bike is the big brother of the, the, the street triple. Wow, this feels absolutely I'll tell you what, it feels like a street triple to be honest. <laughs> really? Forklift across the road there. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that, uh, just, just now that uh, this is a very lively, very lively through the gear, so I'm going to get some heat in the tyres. Hopefully, it's not going to rain. Yeah, this bike is 177 brake horsepower at 10,750 RPM. <laughs> yeah, this will give you 125 newton meters of torque at 9,000, 9,000 RPM. That's up eight, eight uh, newton meters from the previous model and 30 brake horsepower up from the previous model as well. So we'll see if that's noticeable. This has been re redeveloped. This bike has been redesigned really from the ground up. So it's all new, and you know it's a lovely looking bike. And uh, I'll take you through, give you a good walk around and uh, take you through the specs of the bike. That quick shifter as well has got the, the Triumph Shift Assist, which is very, very smooth already. Noticeable. Well, hopefully it's not going to rain, it looks very, very risky up there. <laughs> no, we're okay. Yeah, this bike has the aluminium twin spar lightweight frame, which I believe is 17% 70, lighter than the previous model. It's got the single aluminium single swing and swing and arm. Wow, unbelievable! And it's just tickling the throttle at the moment till we get some heat, heat in these tyres. Yeah, 17 inch alloy wheels. Like I say, this, this has been redeveloped from the ground up, this one. Different engine, Moto 2 de devised engine, this. This bike weighs 198 kilograms. 198, hello sir. Hello sir which I believe is 10 kilograms lighter also than the previous model. Very flickable. I love this new TFT display there. Completely redesigned the, 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 the display, the five inch TFT. Very, very talky. Oh, so I'm just warming the bike up at the moment. LED lighting all round. I believe they've actually changed the geometry as well of the, the chassis. I think you've got another one degree rake, um, one degree rake, which without going too deep will give you a bit of a longer trail. And I believe they've changed the swinging arm, the length of the swinging arm slightly longer and changed the, uh, the, the pivot point, but we're not going to go into all that detail. Unbelievable power there. And talk, like I say, the torque is up 8% from the previous model. Oh, the camera's just done one there. <laughs> oh, that front wheel's hovering, he was right. <laughs> yeah, that front wheel was hovering then. 
all adds to the fun absolutely 15 and a half litre fuel tank on this and this colour is called the, the matte silver ice it comes in um, I think it's a diamond black diamond black as well it's the other one I might be right oh sapphire black um, yeah 15 and a half litre Oh, rain it in a bit. Yeah, you need to be very careful on this for you know you're up to some pretty pretty amazing speeds. Yeah, they claim 44, I think it's 44.8 mpg. Again, it depends how you ride it. I think, to be honest, I wouldn't be getting that out of it. <laughs> Got a lovely howl, lovely howl from the exhaust. Again, you get that, that lovely wine and that sound from the triple engine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, completely redeveloped engine, this. I think it's got the stacked gearbox as well, which I'll go through the specs in a bit when we pull over and uh, take you through. I want to make sure I get them right. Oh, now the way you're spoiling my fun. Lovely visibility through the mirrors again, as usual. To be honest, this could be the uh, obviously uh, other than the power, this could be my my um, street triple. Wow, <laughs> unbelievable! It's gonna be one of them bikes where I just keep saying wow again. Like I say, try and take some serious beating with their bikes. <laughs> 1160 cc. using the clutch then. I don't know why I was doing that. Oh that front wheel just come up then. Wow. <laughs> I weren't even really giving it the beans but you have got the electronics what should hopefully have got your back. <laughs> I don't I like that. Just just uh, you know let you know it's there by bringing the front wheel down for you. There is um, five rider modes on this, so you've got the, the usual, the rain, um, the road, the sport, the track I believe, and the, and the rider one, which is the customisable one, which I believe you could turn off if you dare. <laughs> you could turn off all of your, your traction control and what have you, which I, oh, yeah, you, 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 I think you'd be um, risking it a bit there, but <laughs> it would have to be done. If you wanted to pull some stonk and wheelies, that sky really does look again. Well, it's going to tip it down, so hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah, I'm actually loving this, loving it. It's got the Olins as well, all the Olin suspension. Um, well, I think they're the, the NIX 30s, which is the upside down forks on the front here. Fully adjustable, preload, rebound, compression. Well, I think you get 120 millimeters of travel. We'll try the brakes in a minute. Once we're clear, nothing behind. Whoa! Yes! Bloody hell. Oh, the rear brake. Even the rear's got some punch there as well. But those front brakes, amazing. Amazing. I think they're there. The monoblock style Emma calipers by Brembo 320 millimeter floating uh, dual floating discs as well on this you've also got their obviously braided lines are standard on here I believe here all your braided uh, lines and the MCS uh, the Brembo MCS caliper which is adjustable with your span and your um, what do you call it you span and your you know your range on your on your lever but you can adjust the pressure on the on the master cylinder as well there which would be brilliant for the track 19 to 21 millimeters i believe so very useful very useful uh yeah on the rear you've got twin pop brembo with a 300 no sorry 220 millimeter single disc on the rear this bike also comes with race tech the metzler race tech tires which would be absolutely unbelievable on the track i think they're they're pretty much as good as you're going to get really 
Yeah, really, really impressed so far. But this just need to get find some decent roads and get away from this traffic. Oh, it's typical. We've got a tractor there in front, I believe. I love that dash as well. You got the cobalt, uh, cobalt, and the furnace. Look at that! Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice that. That's not adjustable on the, I mean a lot of the Triumphs, I'm thinking the KTMs as well, are adjustable. You know, on the angle of the dash you can move it, but I think with this one it's, it's fixed, you can't on this. I think they've obviously got it down to a T now, you know, with the glare and the, 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 the TFT, beautiful TFT there. You've also got heated grips, the standard on here, we'll put them on actually. Three different levels, put them on. Um, you've also got the what else have you got the Bluetooth module, the Bluetooth module as well, which is, comes with this, so you can connect up all your your your, your phone, your GoPro, so you get all your satellite navigation, cruise control here as well. This switch gear, uh, it looks pretty much like the the uh, the Street Triple. The only thing difference is you've got your cruise control here. So, yeah, I want to hear this thing howl. Seeing it's solid uh, white line there, so can't be overtaken, unfortunately. Yeah, back on the shock shocks, there's no expense spared on the shocks with this. Like I say, you've got the, the Nix uh, 30, which I think is 43 millimeter upside down forks. And on the rear, you've got the, the, the TTX. 3.6 which are the twin tube uh, shocks with again with 120 um, millimeter travel for the rear all right there's been a few uh, people moaning about not being able to find neutral very easily Let's make sure this fan can see me let's have a look Ah, yeah, I've got neutral there. Yeah, no problem. No problem with the neutral. Like I say, this bike hasn't done many miles either, so this is probably... I think he's, I think he just said 100 and something miles. So, what I'm going to do... Take a lift here. Ah, not the best day to be out, really, although it is dry. Self-cancelling indicators on here as well, which I... I need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sod for leaving them on. Let's see if they're set up. Yeah, no, come on, turn off. Yeah, that's gone off. There's a few different modes you can set them in actually. You've got like a timer delay one and you've also got one what sort of kind of senses when the bike's upright again after it's been run, lent over I believe. The quick shift and the blipper is called Triumph Shift Assist. It's butterly, butter smooth as usual. They always are. They always are on these. You wouldn't know that you're riding the bigger brother of the street triple. It's no different other than the performance, the comfort. It's got a, a very comfortable seat on this. Very, very comfortable seat. 830 millimeters, which is up, I believe, five millimeters from the last model. Very, very comfortable. I would say more comfortable than the the Street Triple. Very, very comfortable. Again, the bar. I think the bars are slightly wider, slightly taller as well. Give you that that better feel and, and what have you. The brakes are unbelievable. Much, uh, much appreciated uh, today for the loan of the bike. Also, I've, only, I've only got it for sort of an hour, hour-ish. So. Uh, I'll hopefully bring you uh, my first ride review on the the 2021 Speed Triple 1200 RS. Mustn't forget the RS. We'll pull over in a minute and we'll like I say, give you a walk around of the bike. Hopefully pull over somewhere not to cause too much bother. Full LED lights on this as well. Full LED lights all round. This bike I believe is coming in at 15,100. 
which to be honest this is this is a completely new let's pull in here shall we I'll say hopefully not cause any oh cause any bother tuck up out of the way I'll give you a walk around of the bike Ooh, bit bit um I'll pull up here no problems finding neutral there whatsoever none or oh, don't know actually uh, yeah it's probably not the best place to stop actually on the stand gorgeous I love this colour as well the the matte silver ice very nice me myself I personally like a, a, a glossy tank you know metallic but I think this would grow on you this this colour I think it only comes in the two colours Wow Wowza Yeah I'm impressed I'm very impressed Yeah, we're sitting here at 60 mile an hour. We've got cruise control actually. No, oh, cruise control. Works a treat. No worries there. And to cancel it, you just pull the brakes on. And that will uh, cancel out the cruise control. We'll take a left here. Whoa, that front wheel straight up yeah this is a better spot to pull over <laughs> so yeah here you have it the 2021 speed triple 1200 rs what a beauty an absolute beauty giving you 177.5 mustn't forget the 0.5 brake horsepower at 10,750 rpm which is up nearly 30 brake horsepower from the previous model also giving you 125 newton meters of torque at 9,000 rpm which is up 8 newton meters again from the last model you've got a single uh, exhaust on on the new triple uh, with a 3 in one header system look at that it's actually starting to change color there as well it's got an underslung primary exhaust silencer and the side mounted secondary silencer see the exhaust valve on the side there as well this is what I was saying earlier about the, the double stack gearbox. I mean, this engine has just been completely revamped. Oh, little plug socket there. Oh, okay. Yeah, the chassis, chassis is 17% lighter. So you've got an aluminium twin spar chassis with a bolt on uh, rear subframe and an al aluminium single sided swinging arm. I believe the swinging arm is slightly extended uh, on this model. You've also got cast aluminium wheels there, look at those. With the Racetech RR, uh, RRK3 tyres. Suspension, the front suspension is Olin's 43mm NIX30 upside down forks with adjustable preload and rebound. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. You've got 120 millimetres of travel there as well on the front. Now the rears, again are Olin's, are the TTX, TTX twin tube monoshock with preload rebound and compression damping. And again with 120 millimetres of rear wheel travel. Brakes, now the brakes, you've got the Brembo Stylema um, monoblock calipers <coughs> on the front with ABS and the MCS master cylinder for 19 to 21 millimeter ratio and span, which would be very useful on the, on the track. Very useful. You've got dual floating discs, 320 millimeter floating discs. Excellent stop and power. I love those forks. Carbon, carbon fiber mudguard on the front there as well. The seat height, is 830 millimetres which is five millimetres higher than the last model 
and the bike weighing 198 kilograms uh, with a wet weight which is 10 kilograms lighter. The fuel capacity is 15.5 litres with a claim fuel consumption of 44.8 mpg. Lovely colour as well. <clears throat> the colour is a matte silver ice. They do do a sapphire black uh, as another option. You've got full LED lighting. Turn the bike on. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. I love how that rear end is. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's turn the turn the bike on and we'll go through some of the display. The TFT, the five inch TFT display. There you go. Wow, look at that. Yeah, usual rider mode, which is sport, road, rain, rider, and track modes. You've also got, let me come out of there, um, your various display functions, your brightness, your themes. I love this Cobalt one. you got, not the Cobalt, sorry, the Furnace. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Also, uh, rider aids, coolant, warnings, service, settings, journey, trip, lap timer, fuel status. It's also got the Bluetooth module here. It comes with a bike with the navigation. Uh, so you can connect up your phone for your turn by turn navigation, connect your phone for your music. Uh, you can even control your GoPro as well if you connect your GoPro. Yeah, it's all there. Absolutely lovely. Go back, back. Look at that. Love that. I love how it turns at an angle so you, you can still see this. But let's go back. That is gorgeous, that is. Right, I think we should ride some more and uh, see what this is all about. I love, I love the welcome message on there on that display there. Absolutely gorgeous, that. That'd be nice if they had that on the on the street triple. Hi ho! Oh, <laughs> it's a side stand. <laughs> yeah, there's been lots of complaints about trying to find can't find neutral on this, but I've had no issues so far as you've seen. Right, let's get rolling. See what it's all about. Very lively, very very lively. I've been told by one of the lovely subscribers that if I go over across here there's some gorgeous twisties which would be ideal for this motorcycle Oh great, you blocked the road there This bike is so smooth so smooth Quick shifters like butter Absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, we'll get on the twisties and we'll wind her open a little bit and see what's all about. I've got some heat into it. Well, anyway, if you haven't subscribed and uh, you're just passing by on the channel, consider subscribing. You're much appreciated. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all the latest uploads as they happen. And I'm looking at, well, I'm looking at testing plenty more bikes, to be honest, um, wherever possible. And I can uh, get my hands on on the latest models so uh, yeah let me know in the comments what do you think would, would you could you see yourself on one of these uh, you know get yourself out uh, for a test ride to your local dealers much appreciated to the local dealer for the loan of this bike today much appreciated to make it possible for this uh, review so we'll get on the on the nationals in a bit and we'll see what this is all about it's very lively very very lively but you've got confidence in the, you know, in the tyres. Whoa. <laughs> oh dear. Let me go a little bit easy. That dash, is that LCD, LCD, that TFT, is very crisp as well. Very crisp. 
<laughs> yeah, you could have some serious fun on this. Serious fun. Right up my street, this. Oh, you weren't lying when you said about these roads. <laughs> Gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. Yeah, I've been waiting for a long while to get on this and test ride this. It's been a long time coming. Oh, these are cracking little bends, these. That's so it's pretty went a little bit warmer today. It's not the warmest of days. But we're at, we're at that time of year where <laughs> where the weather's a bit hit and miss. We, we have had a lot of rain, so it's just trying to find a window really to to get out without getting drenched. Nationals. You can definitely notice that extra torque and power from the previous model. It's so smooth, it's so smooth. It's one thing I have noticed with the bike though, in the little time I've been out on it, is uh, the suspension's very stiff. I think that's the way it's sprung, so I don't know if, uh, if it would be possible to uh, soften it up. I think it could be the springs on the Olins, but... Christ! Looks like the heavens are going to open up in a minute. <laughs> I don't want to be putting it, on, putting it on the rain mode. Sport mode all the way, on the flight. <laughs> yeah, the quick shift is dead smooth. Nothing behind. Yeah, we're right the way down to first gear. Whoa, that's the front wheel! Whoa! <laughs> right. What I like about it is that it's got your back as well with the electronics. I think it's got the IMU as well, so it's got the the uh, you know lean, lean sensitive ABS and uh, traction control, which is good. It's got all the tricks and trimmings. This thing I shouldn't keep calling it a thing. It's a motorcycle. Very nice one as well. But yeah, you don't notice. The sort of well, it's just under 200 kilos, 198 kilos. You don't notice that weight at all. It's all very low down, very low down. And I'll tell you what, yeah, you can have some serious fun on this. One thing I have noticed though is uh, you'd be surprised when you look down to see what speed you can, you know, you're actually doing. You have to be careful with that. So obviously, all legal speeds, of course. <laughs> but yeah, you have to keep your know, keep your your eye open for that. These are roads really are. Hello sir. Whee. Very impressed, very, very impressed with this. Yeah, and that, that display knocks the socks off the old one. But I say it's not adjustable, but you I don't believe that so there's no sun out today, so it's difficult to see about the sun glare and what have you, but oh must say. Very impressed, Mr. Triumph. You've pulled it out the bag again. And like I say, this bike is a completely revamp of, of the old model. I don't, the only thing was probably the same as the badge. <laughs> that front wheel just comes straight up on the throttle. Straight up. Much, much fun you could have with this. Plenty of room on the seat as well to move about on the seat if you wanted to take this on the track, which I think you'd have to. You'd have to take it on the track to experience the, you know, the capabilities of this bike. I'd highly recommend a test ride. Just wants to pull. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very nice. They've done a very good job. I know they've changed the ge geometry slightly on this. 
believe it's got the same wheel base of 1,445mm, uh, uh, the contact patch. Um, so they've extended the rake, I believe, by one degree, so it's 23.9 degrees, uh, which obviously gives you a slightly bigger trail. Extended swing and arm slightly. Not by a lot, I don't think, but I think the pivot point has been changed. Anyway, that's enough about that old waffle. <laughs> All it wants to do is just egg you on this. You don't have to be so careful. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? <laughs> oh God, just sold a bike as well, so yeah, be sensible, be sensible. Be very easy to uh, sign on the dotted line. <laughs> So it's very difficult to pick holes in any of these new bikes, especially these Triumphs. You, get, you also do, another thing I will mention with Triumph is you, you get that excellent customer care. Right from the, you know, the word go to uh, service and everything. Yeah, very, very highly recommend them. Very friendly. Oh, these quarters. Yeah, thanks for the recommendation of the route. Mm. Not aside if you haven't subscribed, plenty more to come. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed this ride on this today, and it's going to be time to take this back, unfortunately. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame, but all good things come to an end, as they say. Oh, I could definitely fall in love with this. It's also got the heated grips as well, which I've, I did have on earlier, but that made my hands nice and toasty. Very nice, they come standard as well, I believe, which would be normally a added extra. Same with the, the Bluetooth module, I, I think. I might be wrong, but there is additional or optional extras as well with this, through Triumph, um, genuine accessories. Um, a few billet components, um, mirrors, I believe. I, I, I'm, I'd be quite, I'm quite happy with the way this, you know, uh, this is an absolutely outstanding bike, and I think they've, they've definitely pulled it out of the bag. Well, anyway, that's, uh, that's me done, me signing out, and uh, like I say, I really do appreciate your viewing, your, your coming by the channel. Be, it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, and I'll hopefully, hopefully I'll see you on the next video, so, uh, yeah, take care, and, uh, see you soon. <laughs>